do uh, heart studies on gorillas because they're a lot like people physically. The same thing that is the number one cause of death in humans is the same number one cause of death in gorillas. We have the benefit of being able to consult with human cardiologists. It's called the Gorilla Health Project, and there's a special wing of the Gorilla Health Project uh, that deals with cardiac issues with gorillas. So uh, Dr. Mazur, our, our consulting cardiologist, uh, put together a really impressive team for us here at the zoo to help us out. You know, first uh, I attended a meeting uh, at the zoo and uh, look at the equipment they have. And I decided that uh, the quality of equipment may not be sufficient uh, to perform an uh, in-depth study I would like to see. With the new machines, we can evaluate stiffness of our heart muscle, which we could not assess with portable ultrasound. Not only did he supply us with a cardiac ultrasound technician. It's very important that the technologist is actually participating in the studies as uh, she has the most extensive expertise uh, in running the machine. Well, the actual windows are much different, the placement of the heart in their chest. But other than that, the images were beautiful. They looked very similar to echo hearts. We also worked with uh, Toshiba. Our ultrasound uh, machine has protocols that we could develop for uh, gorillas and so forth, which uh, mimics the human heart. And they loaned us one of the most high-tech machines that you can possibly get. It was a uh, quite unique uh, experience for me to view the gorilla being, uh, having its ultrasound uh, performed today. It was very overwhelming, actually. I didn't ever think that it could be possible for them to be trained and just stand against a cage, and it was, it was pretty amazing. Several zoos, including us here at the Cincinnati Zoo have been able to condition gorillas to voluntarily present their chest for awake cardiac ultrasound examinations. Anesthesia is associated to a fairly high risk of complication in those beautiful animals. In addition, information obtained in animals which are asleep uh, is not really a physiologic way to look in their heart. The awake ultrasound cardiac imaging, the voluntary collection of these images with the, with the gorilla is relatively new. Definitely it is the most exciting project uh, I participate uh, in. Uh, I'm amazed uh, how similar uh, we are gorillas and uh, I'm very proud that we'll be able to help Cincinnati Zoo. Uh, our goal is to detect a disease uh, in those magnificent animals early uh, and treat early and hopefully prolong their life expectancy. It's more the fact that silverbacks, who tend to get more of the cardiac issues than adult females, just naturally take more responsibility on themselves. And they're just hardwired that way. So that kind of carries over to zoo gorillas, even though they're not in competition with other male gorillas here. But it's just part of their natural physiology.